Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to solve the questions on quantum mechanics and nanoscience. Our first question is, the eigenvalues of the matrix P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6 and 3, 6, 9 R. To find the eigenvalues of the matrix, we need to write characteristic equation that is determinant of p minus lambda i is equal to 0. Then p minus lambda i will be equal to 1 minus lambda 2 3 then 2 4 minus lambda 6 then 3 6 into 9 minus lambda is equal to 0. Then 1 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda into 9 minus lambda minus 36 minus 2 2 into 9 minus lambda that is 18 minus 2 lambda minus 18 plus 3 into 12 minus 12 plus 3 lambda is equal to 0. Then 1 minus lambda into 36 minus 9 lambda minus 4 lambda plus lambda square minus 36 minus 2. Here 18 minus 18 cancels. So minus 2 lambda plus 3 into 3 lambda is equal to 0. Then 1 minus lambda, lambda square minus 13 lambda will remain plus 4 lambda plus 9 lambda is equal to 0. If you simplify this one, so you will get lambda square into minus lambda plus 14 is equal to 0. Therefore, the values of lambda are 0, 0 and 14. Therefore, eigenvalues of the matrix P are 0, 0 and 14. Our next question is, if AB stands for the commutator of two operators A and B, then commutator of AB, comma commutator BA is equal to consider commutator of AB comma B A. We know that commutator B A is can be written as minus commutator A B. Since commutator of any quantity with itself is 0, so we can write it as 0. Therefore, answer to this question is 0. Next question is which of the following cannot be the eigenvalue of 3 by 3 matrix? So here in option A, I 0 minus I. This can be eigenvalue of 3 by 3 matrix. And in B, all are 1. This is also possible. And in option C, e raised to I theta, e raised to minus I theta 1. So this can be also eigenvalue of 3 by 3 matrix. And in option D, only 1 I is there. That means minus I is not there. And 1, 0 is there. So, this cannot be an eigenvalue of 3 by 3 matrix. Therefore, D is the answer. The next question is, no two electrons will have all the four quantum numbers equal. This statement is Pauli's exclusion principle. The uncertainty relation cannot hold good for the following pairs. So we know that the uncertainty relation holds good for position and momentum, energy and time, then angular momentum and angle. Therefore, option C is the right answer. The next question is, Which of the following wave functions can be solutions of Schrodinger's equation for all values of x? We know that a into e raised to minus x square is the, is the form of um, wave function for linear harmonic oscillator. Therefore, option D is the answer. And the next question is, the difference between the subsequent energy levels of a particle in a box follows the following trend as a function of n, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on. So we know that when a particle is in a <coughs> box, 
the energy of the particle is given by n square into h cross square pi square divided by 2m l square then it's a higher energy that is energy of n plus 1 level will be n plus 1 square h cross square pi square divided by 2m l square so if you find the difference so we will we'll get e n plus 1 minus e n is equal to n plus 1 square minus n square and we write this quantity as a that is constant so if you solve this one that is n square plus 1 plus 2n minus n square a here this n square here this n square and n square cancels so 2n plus 1 into a so 2n plus 1 is the answer then the quantum numbers of an energy state for the electrons in a cubical box is 1 2 and 3 so now we have to find out the degeneracy of that state so quantum numbers are given and given that it is a cubical box <coughs> that means nx n y n z are 1 2 3 then when a particle is in a cubical box the energy is given by nx square plus ny square plus nz square into pi square h cross square divided by 2 ml square so here nx square is 1 plus 2 square 4 plus 9 total will be 14 pi square h cross square divided by 2 ml square then the possible combinations of nx ny nz are 1 2 3 here if you interchange this one 1 3 2 then 2 1 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 and 3 2 1 apart from this no other combinations are possible which will give the <coughs> energy 14 pi square h cross square divided by 2 ml square therefore degeneracy of that state is 6 so it is a 6 pole degenerate energy state then commutation relation for the operator u and d by d to solve this one we need to write the commutation relation of u d by dx of psi so that will be u d by dx psi minus d by dx of u into psi so u d, d psi by dx minus so if you apply u rule so u d psi by dx minus psi into du by dx here this and this will be cancelled so minus psi du by dx here if u is independent of x then this term will be 0 option a will be the answer if u is x then it will be 1 so that answer will be minus 1 here both 0 and minus 1 are possible and the question is not clear therefore you may get grace marks for this one our next question is of the following moving with the same velocity the one which has largest wavelength is so we know that we know that the de Broglie wavelength lambda can be written as h divided by m into v that is the wavelength is inversely proportional to mass of the particle here we can see that the mass of electron is lighter than proton neutron and alpha particle therefore electron has largest wavelength then the next question is during the annihilation of the particle and its antiparticle the energy released is e mass of each particle is here during annihilation of particle and antiparticle the energy released is e that means that e is equal to to mc square therefore mass of each particle will be e divided by 2 c square therefore this is the answer then the next question is the zero point energy of one dimensional harmonic oscillator for the harmonic oscillator energy of nth state will be n plus half h cross omega zero point energy means energy of the ground state for n is equal to zero and for n is equal to zero it will be half h cross omega then next question is the minimum value of angular momentum by coupling angular momenta 3 by 2 and <coughs> 5 by 2 is so here given that j1 is 3 by 2 j2 is 5 by 2 then total angular momentum will be j1 plus j2 to 
j1 minus j2. The minimum value will be 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2. Mod of this value will be 1. Therefore, 1 is the answer. The wave function of a state of hydrogen atom is given by psi is equal to psi 200 plus 2 into psi 211 plus 3 into psi 210 plus root 2 into psi 21 minus 1 where psi nlm denotes the normalized eigenfunction of the state with quantum numbers n, l and m. Then the expectation value of lz in the state psi is. So psi is given then expectation value of lz can be written as summation ml h cross into ps. ml is nothing but magnetic quantum number then h cross into ps is the probability. So probability in first state can be written as p1 is equal to p1 square divided by p1 square plus p2 square plus p3 square plus p4 square. Similarly p2 is equal to p2 square divided by p1 square plus p2 square plus p3 square plus p4 square and <coughs> similarly p3 and p4. Here for psi 200 and for 3 into psi 210, the ml value is 0. Therefore, this first term and third term vanishes. Then, for second term, it is ml is 1 into h cross. Probability will be 2 square divided by 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus root 2 square. Plus, here it is minus 1 into h, h cross root 2 square divided by 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus root 2 square. So it will be 4 h cross minus root 2 square is 2, 2 h cross divided by 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 2. So 2 h cross divided by 16 that is h cross by 8. Therefore h cross by 8 is the correct answer. Next question is, if free particle is disturbed by a plane wave and moving in the positive z direction and undergoes scattering by a potential v of r is equal to v0 if r is less than or equal to r and 0 if r is greater than r. If v0 changes to 2 v0 keeping r fixed then differential scattering cross section in Born approximation. We know that scattering amplitude f of theta is directly proportional to v of r. Then differential scattering cross section sigma is equal to square of the scattering amplitude. That is square of the v of r. So here v not v of r is v not if r is less than or equal to capital R. If v not changes to 2 v not then our sigma changes to square of this one that is 4 v not square. Therefore it increases to four times the original value. Then the, math, the mathematical statement of optical theorem is sigma is equal to 4 pi by k imaginary part of f of theta is equal to 0. Next question is the division and Germer experiment confirms the wave nature of electron. The operators Lx, Ly, Lz are Hermitian. The eigenvalues of parity operators are plus 1 or minus 1. Then Dirac's relativistic theory predicts the existence of the positron. Then the mass of an electron is double its rest mass. Then velocity of the electron is given that mass of electron is double of its rest mass. So m and we know that m is equal to m0 divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square. If you compare these two, find that 1 divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square is equal to 2, which implies square root of 1 minus v square by c square is equal to 1 by 2. So squaring both sides, 1 minus v square by c square is equal to 1 by 4, which implies v square by c square is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4, that is equal to 3 by 4. If you simplify this one, you will get p is equal to root 3 by 2 c. Therefore, option c is the right answer. Then, next question is, a meter rod is moving along a positive x-axis with a velocity 0.6 c. 
its length as measured by a stationary observer in meter is so given that actual length of the rod is 1 meter then velocity is 0.6 c we know that l is equal to l not square root of 1 minus v square by c square we have to substitute the value of l not and v and simplify then you will get the answer 0.8 meter next question so nano science the melting point of particles in nano form normally here yeah, normally they decreases then the properties of nano materials differ from bulk materials due to their smaller size and larger surface area and graphene consists of entirely carbon next question is the nano materials are the materials with at least one dimension measuring less than 100 nanometer a material with one dimension in nano range and other two dimension are large so only one dimension is confined to nano range and other two are large is called quantum well thank you if you like this video please subscribe like and share